That's our guy, Oklahoma native PJ on American Idol, making our state so proud. PJ's American Idol journey has come to a close, made it all the way to the top 26. Joining us live to, to talk about the experience, PJ. Thanks, so it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too. It's it's really nice to be back home, honestly. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I was going to say, so seeing that was your that was your last performance on the show. Mm. How are you feeling? Um, I feel very accomplished. Uh, I think I, I, I did a lot on the show and and I feel like the people that I met on the show and, and just the experience all together was such a positive one and I'm super excited that it went the way it did um, and I think seeing the support from the community has been so beautiful and so amazing so it, it's, it's, it feels a little nice to to come back and just kind of get back into normal life a little bit because sure. it gets so crazy. Maybe a little bittersweet. Yeah, yeah, a little bittersweet for sure. I think, you know, I, I would have loved to continue on more, um, but I, I'm super proud of myself and, and you, you know, where it, how it ended. And and so I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Absolutely. I wanted to ask you this, but I didn't know if I could ask you when you were still on the show. Yeah. Since you've gone through the experience, what are some things that people might be surprised to know about American Idol? What are some things behind the scenes that yeah. we might not know? To be honest, I, I think uh, I was surprised on like how amazing everyone is. A everyone is so sweet and kind and uh, nice, even on the staff, uh, the contestants as well. I think getting to know so many people that are working in the industry, it, it kind of gives you a different perspective on what goes on behind the cameras uh, in Hollywood. And so it was it was nice to to see so much kindness um, mm -hmm. on stage and even backstage, everyone is is very um, uplifting and you know you got this and the band was incredible. So I think that was probably the biggest thing and it's a lot more stressful than <laughs> I expected it to be. I, th I think you know getting on on stage. Uh, in front of a national audience is always a little, I didn't think it would be a, as difficult as it was, but um, I think having such a supportive community and such a supportive hometown really helps. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that the, the kindness and the support that you see on TV isn't just for show. Yeah, you know, no, they don't just turn not. it on when the camera. The judges are actually so nice. I'm like, glad. actually, as nice as you see on the screen, it's not an act. <laughs> I know we're running out of time quickly, though. What's next for PJ? Um, what's next? I, I have a lot of performances coming down the line. I, I'm super excited to have been added to the lineup at Silfest, which is a festival wow. with Andy Grammer. Next week, it's a free festival, so I'm excited to be performing there. And I have some slots at the Arts Festival as well. So, a lot more performances, a lot more music. So, definitely follow my journey and. Hopefully there's going to be even more coming down the pipeline. So. I'll tell you what, you are just getting started. This Thank was you. just the launching pad of, of PJ's <laughs> career. We're so proud of you. And it was great to see you again. Yes, you always are just a ray you. of sunshine coming <laughs> into the studio. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.